Hey guys, today we're going to address five common issues, problem, questions for everyday use of Affinity Photo version 2. So I got a Google search, YouTube search and there are very common search terms. So people are stuck in the program and then they try to search for help. So let's address five of those common search terms. Affinity Photo remove background and this is really tricky because if you type it in in let's say youtube for a tutorial you very often will find a tutorial from version one when there was really a pain in the mm. and now it's way easier since version 2.6 we finally get a subject select so now we can simply click on your image in the layer panel head to the left and you can use this tool for example this object selection tool that will try to detect the content of your image. As you can see now, it's kind of detecting. And then you can click on the subject and it's kind of highlighted with it's like green highlight and you click on it, you got the proper selection and you can very quickly click refine. So you got another chance to do some final refinements and then select your output, for example, uh, new layer of the mask, apply and as you can see we get rid of the backdrop quickly using this new tool here on the left core object selection tool and if you stumble across really old tutorial they will guide you to like the old school manual selection method so that's the method you can use right now if you got updated version you got version 2.6 all right, so that's the first thing covered. What is the next problem? Affinity photo black and white. I really don't know why this is so high in the search terms. It's pretty simple. You just need to head for adjustments. By default, they are here next to your layer panel. And then there is literally special adjustment called black and white. You click on that, click default. You got the default mode when you can adjust how different colors will translate into grayscale and you are done really this is non-destructive adjustment by the way it's going to be switch off or delete in any moment so that was quick all right what's next can affinity photo open psd files yes and no you can open basic psd files with the normal layer structure and if you got like so like anything before photoshop CS4 will be fine, but if you got like very complex smart objects, those like variable objects, special effects, that will be really tricky to open correctly. So the answer is yes, but it's also no for very complex PSD files. Okay, so not a clear answer here, but we got the next term that you guys tend to type in YouTube search, Google search, searching for help. Affinity Photo Delete Selection, I can understand this one because I teach like <laughs> beginners into like a video, uh, photo editing and that's really common problem. So deselection, when you got stray selection, it can really disturb your workflow because the tools can be used only inside the selection. So the worst case scenario for beginners is to make selection somewhere here, then zoom in and then the tool simply doesn't work anymore. There's no error, it's super frustrating. So it's a good habit to always deselect. So how can we deselect? You can head to the top, there's like select and there's a deselect on the list. Let's try once more using different methods. So now I'm going to use like lasso tool. There's a deselect button right here as well without opening the top menu. And my favorite one, you can just press Command D to deselect or Control D on Windows. Okay, so there are several methods and it's good habit to deselect. Selections are not longer needed. And the last term for today that we need to solve is this one. Affinity Photo Clipping Mask. So how can we make a proper clipping mask? Let's draw a shape. Here it is. And we're going to use that as the clipping mask. So if I right click on it in the layer panel and search for different options, I got option called mask below. 
And now this shape became a clipping mask of the image that was below. And I can see this in my layer structure. So I can literally move this circle around, still clipping what's below. You can do it with text or other objects. All right, so that's how you can very quickly apply a clipping mask. And if I just pull brutally force, pull it out in the layers, I got a regular shape, okay? So it's definitely possible to make a clipping mask from the layer pan, just right click and you can use the clip below feature, mask to below, and that shape, that object will become a mask that will clip what is under. There are several methods doing masks. There's like the whole mask button here as well. So you can make a clipping mask simply with selection. But this method is nice because we got this non-destructive shape that we can move around. All right, I hope I managed to solve those five common problems for Affinity Photo. In the next video, I will try to tackle five problems for Affinity Publishers. I will see you in the next one. Bye.